Hello YouTube! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing super well today. So it's a super gloomy Saturday today and I thought I would do an upcycle video and take a look at all the things that I have at home so I can turn it into something new. Working on crafts and DIYs has been so therapeutic for me since we're all kind of stuck at home right now and there are definitely some things in my house that I've noticed that need an upgrade. So I'm going to show you a few things and maybe this will inspire you to take a look at some of the items that you already have and turn it into something new. And if you're new here, my name's Tina and I'm make videos every single week on lifestyle and DIY so if you haven't already please subscribe down below for new videos every single week. I'm really excited to start upcycling some of these items so let's see what we can make. So please do not mind my messy background. I am in the middle of cleaning this room and sorting it out and it's going to be its own video on this craft room but for now we're gonna work on these upcycles. But I wanted to show you guys the first projects and these are all plant related. So for this first one as you can see I have a broken plant pot and sadly my husband ran into the table in the middle of the night when it was super dark. This obviously fell over. The plant inside of it survived but now this pot that I got from Target for like five bucks is in shambles but I think that we can save it and my plan is just to glue it and to paint the cracks. I've seen this done on the Sorry Girls and it's also a Japanese technique. I will put the name here because I don't want to butcher it. But rather than throwing this away, I figured we can just give it a new life with some glue and some paint. So let's get started with this one. So to save this cute little plant pot, I'm going to glue together the broken pieces with some E6000 glue and then I gave it a couple hours for the glue to dry. Then I tried to add some gold paint to the edge for a Japanese kintsugi effect. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But I quickly realized that I did not like the way that it was looking, so I tried to wipe most of it off, and instead I wanted it to be a little glimmer of the gold lining in the cracks instead. During this process, I noticed that the bottom portion of the pot actually had so many imperfections on it, so I wanted to conceal it with some speckles that I've seen in pottery before. So first, I wrapped up the top portion to protect it. Then with a small paintbrush loaded with a mixture of paint and water, I began to flick the paint onto the pot, and this is a super easy process, but I think that the speckles came out really great. And that's really all it took to save this pot. I'm so happy that I was able to give the pot a refresh instead of throwing it out, and now it's home to this happy little cactus. I've had this pot forever and I love the way that terracotta pots look but I just thought that it'd be more fun to just add a little bit of paint to it. So for this upcycle it's probably the easiest one that I'm sharing with you guys today and I just began painting a small line pattern with white acrylic paint and honestly it's as easy as that to give some plain pots some new life. I've seen so many cute patterns on Etsy and this one I think was just super easy but also still very interesting to look at and I'm just so happy with how this one came out. It reminds me of a pot that you would probably find at Urban Outfitters but it was just so easy to do and really gave my plant pot a new look. For my last plant pot, I'm going to do this one that I got from Home Goods a while ago. I've had this for probably a year and a half, but it was on sale for only $7. So I had to get it and I knew that I would paint this one day and stain the legs but I just have never done it. I don't really know what color I'm going to do yet but we will figure it out. And I'm also trying to make my own chalk paint. I'm a little nervous about this but I don't have any sandpaper at home right now so that's why I'm going to try and make my own chalk paint. We'll see how that goes, but yeah, I'm excited to upcycle this and give it a brand new look. So first things first, we're going to take this pot apart by unscrewing it from the wooden base, and then I'm going to stain this with an old t-shirt to rub it into each leg. Thank you. 
and then with a paintbrush I went into the smaller crevices and I did notice that some of the parts that had glue on it would not take the stain as well but they were so small that I didn't mind it as much if it looked a little bit uneven. Now onto the actual pot, and as you can see, the pot is super smooth and I did not have any sandpaper to go through and prep the pot with, so I'm going to try and make my own chalk paint. And to be honest, I didn't know if this was going to work or not, but I saw it on a YouTube video before, so I wanted to try it. And if it didn't go well, then I can always fix it in the future. But to my surprise, this actually came out really good. So I saw online that you can make chalkboard paint with one part baking soda to two parts paint, and usually this is done with latex paint that you use for your home, but I wanted to experience and see how this would turn out with regular acrylic paint and first I mix an off-white shade with some white orange and brown colors and then I added in my baking soda and gave it a really good mix and as you can see the paint gets pretty thick and that's exactly what you want then without any prep work I put the paint right onto the pot and did one even coat making sure to leave it to completely dry and sit overnight And when I came back to it in the morning, I was pretty impressed with how nicely it had dried. I went in with a second coat and that completely covered the teal color underneath. I was super, super impressed. And also, as you can see, there are little blobs of dried up paint showing through and that's because I'm using a super old bottle of paint. So if you use a newer bottle, you won't have this problem. But honestly, I really like the look of it on the pot overall. Again, I left this to dry completely and then I came back to it after a few hours and then I attached the base back onto it with the screw and I am obsessed with this this new look. I think the colors just look so much more sophisticated and really does match the rest of my decor so much better. And I love how the chalk paint turned out. I think it gives it a nice rough texture and makes it look like a real raw ceramic piece. So this next item is another find that I got at Home Goods, and at the time it was my style and I thought it would be perfect for the bathroom, but now that I've had it for a couple years, I realize I don't really love it anymore. So I'm going to try and upcycle this beautiful artwork. So I'm going to upcycle this pineapple print. It is on a canvas and it's on this really nice gold frame, so I definitely want to keep that. But it's time to upcycle this because it does have a few stains, so I don't want to throw it away and I think the frame is beautiful, so I'm just going to paint right over it and let's see what we can come up with. So for this frame painting, the first thing I'm going to do is tape off the frame on the outside to protect the gold paint and then I'm going to go in with a layer of of white paint and then I went in with another layer and then another layer after that and honestly this took me way too many coats to get the white paint completely opaque over the old drawing but I wanted to make sure that you couldn't see the pineapple underneath so it probably took me seven coats to cover this whole thing up. And now that I covered up the pineapple, I'm going to make a boho desert inspired painting. So here I'm taking a few of the colors that I have at home. I'm going in with a light pink, an ochre yellow, a rusty orange color, and then a light brown gouache. Now I'm going to sketch in some lines to create some hilly shapes for the desert, and then I just use a candle cap for the sun. Then with a light wash, I went in with all my colors. And if you guys are doing this project at home, feel free to pick out your own colors and come up with your own themes and palettes. I think that this painting would look really good in any color palette. Then after the gouache dried, I painted in some white lines with acrylic paint to add a bit more interest. Now after all this is dried, I just took off the tape and I was super happy with the results. This painting has all the perfect tones for a future gallery wall that I'm planning and I'm just so happy that I was able to create this on my own and it was also super super easy to make.
And for this final upcycle, it's going to be another home goods item and it is this beautiful framed, is it beautiful? Because I'm redoing it. So for this next item, it is one of their framed artworks and at the time it was really cute and it is this pink print that has gold foiling that says, eat well, travel often. And I loved this at the time, but now it's just sitting on the floor, like pretty sad. So I wanna do something with it. And I'm gonna try something new that I've never done before. So stay tuned to see what I do to this and if it even works or not, we'll see. Now for this last project, I'm upcycling this old printed frame that I had and I'm replacing it with something I already had at home. So first I'm removing the backing and then I'm making sure that I have a piece of thick cardstock that will fit within the matted frame. And here you can see I'm taking an old tank top with a pattern I really liked but wasn't wearing anymore and I just cut that down to size. And now you're left with this nice piece of pattern fabric and I'm just going to put this onto the cardstock by using a hot glue gun. And with each side that I was gluing down, I was making sure that it was super tight so that it would lay flat against the cardstock and would fit within the frame. And that's all there is to it. I love that I was able to upcycle two items that I already had at home and create a brand new piece that was again super easy and simple to make. This piece now hangs in our bathroom and it just adds the perfect touch of blue. Alright guys, so that was all of today's projects. I hope that this inspires you to upcycle some things that you already have at home. I am so happy with how everything turned out and I'm really glad that I was able to upcycle with things that I already had at home. So I literally spent zero dollars on every single one of these projects and I know you can do the same except definitely buy a new bottle of white paint if you're like me and literally keep supplies for a really long time until they get gross. But if you don't hoard art supplies like I do, I think your projects will turn out just fine. And I think, honestly, my favorite project from today has to be the easiest one of all, and that is this cute planter. It just makes me so happy to look at. Like, I love this print on it. And I've always seen pots like this on Etsy or something, and I've always wanted to make one, so I'm really glad that I got to do that. And now I need to find a new plant for this pot, so maybe I'll have to buy something. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite and if you're planning to do any upcycles in your home as well, I would love to hear about it. And as always guys, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I will pop up my handle somewhere over here. But I just can't thank you guys all so, so much for watching my channel and I can't wait to show you guys even more projects and fun DIYs like this one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!